Joshua Redux. So LaShawn McCoy, he's a running back for the Philadelphia Eagles. He is. Goes to a popular local restaurant in Philadelphia. Not when he's away. In a town where pretty much for professional reasons he lives. And runs up a $61 tab. No one's going to want to live in Philadelphia. Have you heard stories about like guys like Rush Limbaugh? Which Say what you will about Rush Limbaugh. Some people love him. Some people hate him. He, he'll do like a $50 tab and leave a $200 tip. Peyton Manning, another football player alongside, you know, like LaShawn McCoy and stuff like that. A lot of NFL guys, you know, they make a lot of money. Peyton Manning, I know, has left huge tips before to people. LaShawn McCoy comes in, $61 tab, tips two dimes to the server. And in a pretty rare move, the manager of the restaurant, sometimes people post, you know, receipts from famous people and they get fired That's because I of saw it. it. Yeah, and it yeah. was actually on Facebook. The so manager yes. is standing behind this server. The manager made the decision to post it on there to say shame on LaShawn McCoy. LaShawn McCoy, to his credit, has fired back saying that his service wasn't good and that he thinks his tip should reflect the service. The server wasn't good, so he left him 20 cents. Your thoughts on this? I want you to go ahead and just I'm roll. I'm of the belief in a George Costanza stance with Seinfeld. I mean, tips are optional, really. I mean, okay. yes, you're supposed to leave 20%, which I never do. The highest tip I've probably left is $4, uh, just okay. because maybe 5 Um, But, yeah, I, I don't have much money. And, you know, they're doing their job. They're giving me food. They're bringing me food on a plate. They're refilling my drink. Yeah, so... Come to me and pay me a five dollars an inning. You know, it's the equivalent of that. I don't. I don't really care about tips. Okay, so you and I are going to have very different stances. I don't know if you know. Like, I worked as a server for four months at Olive Garden. Four months I had in the service industry. You did, and I've I've not worked in the service industry like right. you. So I'm so I I'm gonna in. I'm gonna like basically. I'll go ahead and pose the question to you. We kind of got your opinion. Like I kind of can tell a little bit about where you stand on this, but I'm gonna ask you straight up. Should the server be held responsible for the overall experience you get as a customer at a restaurant. The overall experience? Yes. Yes. No, they're a small percentage of that experience. Exactly. But, see, this is where the miscarriage of justice for servers in America comes along. I have only, never heard that phrase. Only the server... Now, the bussers... Sometimes they can they do what the servers do what they call tipping out where the bussers get a percentage. So the bussers sometimes are that way and sometimes the bartenders are this way too. But only they You can also double down. Right. Only they are paid according to their quote unquote performance. Other people who can be directly responsible for the experience, the kitchen staff, the management, the host or hostess are tipped, the managers are salaried usually, the kitchen staff and the host get a flat rate no matter how they do, and that's where the big miscarriage of justice comes in. I'll, I'll tell you a little scenario, and this is actually based off real life experiences I had working at Olive Garden. And so, it sounds got, just awful. Right. Oh, I mean, Olive Garden as a restaurant isn't a bad place to work. No, I, the the, servi are to die the service them. industry in general just isn't a good place to be, especially in America where it's legal. They assume if you make tips that they're only going to pay you by the federal mandate two thirteen an hour. $2.13. Did you know that? It's below minimum. That's $4 below minimum wage. There you go. It's so $5 see, dollars below minimum your wage. Your server lives off of the tips. That's something that they usually don't, that people don't you know talk about all the time. Did you know that? Doesn't really change my opinion, but no, I didn't. No, know fair it. enough. But okay, um, Lashawn McCoy comes in and says his service was bad. Here's the question: If the line cook comes in and he's having an off night, does he get his pay deducted because he's having an off night? No. No. The, the manager's coming in and having a bad day. Does he or she get their money taken away that night because they were having a bad day? No. no. So, LaShawn McCoy, your service wasn't good. Does that guarantee that the server is just a bad server? Maybe he or she was a little starstruck, or maybe he or she was just very overwhelmed in the weeds, as they say in the industry, and didn't work out. But here's another scenario. We're going off on a long tangent with this, but I just like, I feel very passionate about this. I'm going to school you on this. So, put yourself in the shoes of a server, really quick. Let's say you come in and someone orders a steak. The number one thing people tip on, there's two things actually, N amount of refills, which is directly in control of the server's hands, and the quality of the food, which in 99.9% .9 of restaurants, the server has little to no impact on the preparation of the food. Mm -hmm. So let's say this server, whose money depends on the person who comes in, this person orders a steak. They go to a computer, they ring in the steak, and it goes to the kitchen. Now we got the line cook back here, flipping a steak on the grill, goes to flip it, drops the steak in the floor. 
So now he's got to go back to the, the refrigerator and get a new steak out and start cooking it again. There's a movie I'm reminded of where they, they've they gone through these scenarios it's called Waiting to Exhale. Yeah. It's got Ryan Reynolds, Seth Green, a uh, couple of no-name actors in there. But, yeah, they, they've worked in a restaurant and they've dealt with all these scenarios yeah. you're going through. Yeah. So, okay, so he's got to get a new steak out. And, like, Waiting to Exhale is a great way to describe working in the service mm-hmm. industry. Yep. You literally can't breathe till you get off. So he's, he's cooking a new steak, this line cook, who's paid. He's not paid a lot. He's probably paid, like, Seven twenty-five an hour or no. a little more, but he's not tipped. So anyway, he's cooking a different steak, gets it out there, and the server carries it out. And this is about five ten minutes late. So the person got some slow service tonight. Their food didn't come out in time. Who's gonna suffer financially because the line cook spilled the steak in the floor? Josh Show Redux.